now know across the world simply as rugby, can be traced back over 2,000 years. The Romans played a ball game called harpistum, a word derived from the Greek word seas, the implication of the name being that somebody actually carried or handled the ball. The players are young men from 18 to 30 or upwards, married as well as single and many veterans who retain a relish for the sport, are occasionally seen in the very heat of the conflict a description that some might say is as applicable today as it was all of those years ago. The roots to the modern game of rugby can be traced to a school for young gentlemen in the Midlands of England, which in 1749 finally outgrew its cramped surroundings within the town centre and moved to a new site on the edge of the town of rugby in Warwickshire. The new rugby school site had every accommodation that could be required for the exercise of young gentlemen. This eight-acre plot became known as the close, the game of football, which was played on the close between 1749 and 1823, had very few rules. Touchlines were introduced, and the ball could be caught and handled, but running with ball in hand was not permitted. Progress forward towards the opposition's goal was generally made by kicking. Games could last for five days, and often included more than 200 boys. For fun, 40 seniors may take on 200 younger pupils, the seniors having prepared for the event by first sending their boots to the town cobbler to have extra thick soles put on them, beveled at the front to better slice into the shins of the enemy. According to the sports lore, in 1823 William Webb Ellis, a pupil at rugby school, defied the conventions of the day, that the ball may only be kicked forward, to pick up the ball, and run with it in a game, thus creating the distinct handling game of rugby football. This historical basis of the game was well established by the early 1900s, about the same time that foundation